So this is stop number one of the 100k challenge and this is the old hill that I went to in episode two, which is Gherkins Road. Here's a little handy hint. You might have remembered if you've seen that video. I'm pretty sure I was biking along this stretch and the wind noise was out of control. Now I couldn't quite figure out what the problem was. I realized that I had the lens pointing towards me and so then the wind reduction wasn't actually working because it was just getting the full complement from the LCD screen side. So hopefully, hopefully this time it's actually quieter and it's me talking. So that's my handy hint for the day. So part of this challenge will most probably involve three or possibly four hills. This is my first hill that I'm hitting up. It's Gherkins Road. It's my favorite. If you saw episode three, you'll know what I'm talking about. Today the scene should be a hell of a lot better. Bit of blue sky. We'll see how it goes. Here's a couple of handy GoPro tips for you for your Saturday morning. And these tips are all due to the fact that I made mistakes last time I was filming. So if you want to get a good shot, put it on super view. But you have to have the camera angled the right way. Because I've tried to do a few short clips where it was just angled way too low. And it was pretty much just looking at the road. And other times I've had it on linear and you can't see any of the bike, any of the handlebars. And it just looks like something floating through mid-air just cruising. You might as well have it sticking out of the car. Which would be cheating of course. Alright, getting close to Gherkins Hill. Okay, I made it to the base of Gherkins Hill. So this should take probably about 20 minutes to the top maybe. It's about 2 or 3k. Don't know, I haven't measured it, so we'll see how it goes. But look at the scenes. Classic New Zealand. The lambs in the background. Let's get it. Alright. Get those gears down low. Or high. Don't really know which is which. Showing my ability there on the bike. Battling. This is probably one of the hardest parts of the hill. Relentless. Bike 100k they say. Yeah, no worries. What an idiot. You sort of forget just how intense this hill is. That's the view. I've got it on super view by the way. That's not exactly going to be zoomed in very well. But this is the end of hill number one. So the next stop from here is back down to little old Taitapu. And from Taitapu, I'm going to be going along State Highway 75, I think. Main Akaroa Highway. And that's going to take me to Halsall. Once I get to Halsall, I'm going to go to a quarry. This is called Halsall Quarry. And that quarry can pretty much lead right up to the summit road. So it's basically from the base of the Port Hills right to the top. I've done that not a huge amount of times, but I've done that as a one-off ride and that nearly killed me. So considering that I've done this one before, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, hopefully the bike holds up. Because even on the way up here, it was starting to creak a little bit. I felt a little bit loose. So hopefully that's not a sign of things to come. It's probably my own fault for not doing anything to the bike before this trip. I did uh, check the tire pressure though. So that's a plus. Anyway, back down, phase two. So the next phase is about getting up to the summit road. So, as I said before, this is the top of the quarry. And it goes to sort of like a bit of a four-wheel drive track. Nothing major, but a lot of people walk it. Heaps of people bike it as well. So hopefully it's not too busy, but the next part should probably take me about half an hour to get to the summit road. And then I might traverse across to the Crosshitch Adventure Park, which is where all the mountain bike tracks are. So, see how the next part goes. But anyway, behind me here, so this is where there used to be a massive forest. So huge big pine trees that got absolutely destroyed in the Christchurch fires probably about five years ago. 
So things are slowly starting to grow back. And by growing back I mean gorse, but I think they've done a whole lot of planting and restorative projects to try and get it back to its former glory. Speaking of glory, look at these scenes. Okay, I have just recovered from my first snag and that was cramp. My God, that was painful. Not a pleasant feeling at all. Let's see if we can carry on after that because, oh, that was scary. Okay, so I'm now coming to the end of phase two, and this has been by far the most difficult part of it so far. Completely underestimated how difficult that was gonna be. Bloody hell, glad that's over. I've arrived to a place called Governor's Bay, and as you can see, it's quite spectacular. There's a bit of a wharf there that's definitely seen better days, but the harbour is just absolutely glorious at the moment. So coming down that hill, it was pretty dodgy. I was pretty much packing myself because the road wasn't that wide. Not a lot of room for bikers, but made it down safely, thankfully. And now I've got to begin the trek back around the base of the hills, around back to probably Taitapu and then we'll see what the caves are at and whether or not I need to keep going in order to get to that 100. But anyway, just enjoy this for a second because she's just delightful. Right, this is my official lunch break. So I've done roughly about 41K, I think. So the time at the moment is about quarter past one. So if you were to use some basic maths there, 41K, um, I started about 9.30, carry the one. I may be pushing it, but we'll see. So at the moment it's low tide here. Um, the mud flats are in all their glory. Got a little bit of a trek back up the hill, which is going to be on the road, which is going to be slightly dodgy, but that's right. I'm sure. I'm sure it'll be fine. Can't be any harder than going up that bloody quarry. That nearly killed me. And before I had to pull over, so I felt this almost like a searing pain going through my left leg. I think that was a result of the cramp but it did not feel good at all. And I nearly, nearly got to a point where I thought I'm gonna to have to pull out of this. Still sore at the moment, but I'm just gonna to have to give it a break, stretch it out, and then fingers crossed, we can get back on the horse and knock this little bastard off. We'll see how we go. <coughs> all right, status update. Let's just have a look. I may be coming up to half, oh! Damn it, I thought I was gonna come up to halfway. Only 44K, that's all right. I'm now onto a little bit more of a flatter uh, stretch. Which should be a little bit better. The leg's feeling okay. Anytime I pedal uphill, it just sends shooting pains up to my thigh. But flat's okay. So as long as we've got this, should be fine. So I think it's pretty obvious by the time I get back to Lincoln, I think I'm going to be well short of the 100k mark. So what I'll probably have to do 
as I'll have to go back and forth from Lincoln to Preveldon a few times. And that's about a 7k uh, distance between the two little towns. And the other reason why I'll just go back and forth however many times that takes is because light will probably not be on my side. Um, with it being pretty much pitch black at 5.30 these days, I think I might be shit out of luck there. But we'll see how we go. Hopefully I can tick them up on the flat for a little bit. And so I'm solely relying on the sun to keep the light so then I can hopefully get this thing finished. Right, I've got another hill coming up soon and then back to a long flat stretch and then I'll uh, catch up again then. I got a big milestone here. Finally made it to the top of the last of the piece of shit hills. My goodness, I am sick of hills. Barely even speak. Feeling good though. Significant moment. Halfway, 51k. Frost. Now it's quarter past two. And it's pretty much dark at quarter past five. So, see how this goes. Well, the plan from now is that I'm just gonna boost back to Lincoln. <laughs> boost, limp back to Lincoln. And then probably just have to do a few back and forth trips from Lincoln to Pribbleton. Just another Sorry, I'll try that again. I can barely speak. Just another moment. Stretch of the legs. Calves are destroyed. I feel like I'm almost drunk. It's the best way to describe it is it feels like you're yeah, like really slurring your words and struggling to speak. Uh, yeah. right I'm about I'd maybe say two or three K away from Tai Tapu or Tai Tap as some people call it once I'm there well actually I was gonna say once I'm there who knows but in actual fact once I'm there I need to find somewhere to fill up my drink bottles so maybe I'll go to the old stomping ground might go to the school and top them up because the mouth is dry I ran out of water probably about two hours ago and yeah, feeling it now. Maybe that's why I sound like I've had one too many beersies. Ah, 100k they say. How do we fun? Yeah, dick. died. The Fitbit has just told me that I've gone over 100k and I am wrecked. I can't even describe. Well I can't even talk at the moment. Let's just leave it at that because I am buggered. 